Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 46, and today we're going to talk about ordering pages. And in order to order a page, we need to be able to change its position in the database. Now, one way of doing that, you may think, it might be to work with the ID, but I'm going to ill-advise that, and another way to do that is create basically a page position number. So the day has finally arrived. We're actually going to go in, and now there's param1, param2, param3 that I've been talking about. We're actually going to change that and actually do something with those numbers. Uh, we're going to basically create a page ordering position parameter, a visible parameter, and a comments parameter. And then we'll go in and actually start working with the code itself, making it a little bit more dependable. Start uh, the basics of putting some security in there through using functions. So now let's see why do we need to order pages. All this began with the Selk software, and we're actually creating or recreating a storyboard component for our own uh, web uh, interaction. And, and what we noticed with the storyboard is you had these different sequences that you could click on. But another thing you could do, you could actually change where the sequence actually appears. So if you click up, it actually moves that sequence up, and you could actually have that sequence appear differently in the hierarchy of your sequences. So uh, in order to do that, you've got to change its position. And using the uh, database index is not the way to go. You actually want to create a position number. And so now we're going to go back to MySQL database, change our database so we can have page ordering in there, and add a few other things in as well. So let's go to our database. So come down to your system tray. Click your WAMP icon, go to your PHP My Admin. Now the particular database I'm interested in is Storyboard Example, so go ahead and click on that. And when you do, we're specifically interested in the Sequences table. We'll talk about the Pages table in the upcoming video, so click on Sequences. And you'll notice that I put in Param1, Param2, Param3, and I said one day I'll change those because I might need them, and that day is here. So the way you change them is this. First of all, go to Structure. And when you're in structure, just come over to the param that you want to change, param1, param2, param3, and just click on the pencil. So this particular case, I can actually change this name now to position. I don't really need a var care, do I? I can use an integer. I could use a tiny integer, but in this case, I'll just use integer. And uh, what this is going to do is just show me where the position of my page is. So I want this to be my first page, for example. And... Uh, so what I've done actually here is I just changed basically the names. And so I'm all set. So let's go ahead and save. So if you look at the structure of my table now, I, I no longer have a var car, but I have an integer. And so now let's move on. The next one I want to do is change the parameters so I can make it visible or not. So actually I might be making a draft. So that could be a 0 or a 1. So let's go ahead and change that. So once again, just go over here and change it your pencil. So we're looking at param2 and we actually want to make some changes here. And the first thing we want to do is basically change the name. And we could just change this to visible. And basically if it's a 0, it's not visible. If it's a 1, it is visible. And so this gives us the ability to create dr working drafts. So if something's a draft, you can see it in the editor, but you can't see it in production. And so you'd have the server serve out a 1 so the for visible and a 0 for non-visible. And we can just change that to integer once again, and we'll change this to 11. Now we could use tiny int as well, but in this case I'll just use integer, and we're done. So let's just hit save, and let me squeeze this in so you can see the save button just here at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and save everything, and now you have uh, position uh, visible. And in the last column, I actually might want to make some comments, so I'm just going to change this to text. So let's go ahead and once again click on that pencil over here. Make sure you've chosen structure, and with structure chosen, click on the pencil, the edit pencil, and then we can change this to comments. We might want to make some comments about our particular uh, item, and we'll just turn this into text, and we can leave that blank. So now let's take a look at our table again, and let's see if everything is following through. So we'll hit Sequences again. We're in Browse, right? And what you're seeing here, of course, is uh, Position, Visible, and Comments. Now none of the numbers are right here, so let's go fix that. And so we're going to fix that, so we can go ahead and hit the pencil. And now in this particular case, we're actually in the browse mode, so keep that in mind. When you actually want to change the uh, structure of the table, you have to be in structure mode, and then you hit the pencil. If you want to change what's the values, if you want to change the values in the table, you've got to be in browse, and you hit the pencil. And in this particular case, so 1 is OK for the index, garden, and it will be the first page. Let it be visible, right? You can put some comments in here, uh, man in the garden. And we're going to change our next page. So go ahead and hit the next page. You can see your comments are starting to appear here. That's good. 
and let's go ahead and hit the pencil for that page. I'm just going to go through and change each page now. We'll make this page 2, or position 2, and once again it will be visible, and the fall of man, man disobeys God. Hit OK. Uh, let's change the next one. We'll call this the flood. Three. Uh, once again, this will be position, so this is the third page, and we're going to want it to be visible, yes, and uh, all but Noah are destroyed. There you go, hit go. And we have two more, the Tower of Babel and Pangaea, so let's go ahead and uh, put uh, the position to four and five, so let's change that. Okay, so our position is now four. It's visible, and uh, man unifies for a while. There you go. And we have one more, which is uh, Pangaea, and that should be five. Now, in this case, you see that the indexes and the IDs are the same, but what this allows us to do now is keep the indexes the same, but we can start changing these numbers right here and reordering our pages. So if I wanted the flood to be one, I could switch these two numbers and flip the pages that appear or the sequences is where they appear and I can actually make that dynamic and that's why I'm doing this whole process so let's go ahead and change the last one and we want this to be page 5 and we want it to be visible and Pangaea uh, continents separate and we are done and you can see all our information is filled out and that's how you change your database and so now let's go ahead and hook up page ordering in our PHP software so I'll see you in Eclipse so now we're back in Eclipse and we're going to take advantage of the order by command to actually now order our database sequences. So let's come along here and go to this method that we created earlier. So we're in the get all interface command which we've created previously which allows us to get all the records from the database. And you should remember what you do in this program. You just basically prepare a statement that you select all the rows from the database and you print those out. And what we're going to do is actually change this prepare statement so we can actually order this statement. So I'm actually commenting that out and let me uh, uncomment these particular lines of code. And this is extremely simple and yet very powerful. And we're going to change the previous statement just a little bit. We're going to actually still use the uh, select uh, star from table but now insert ordered by position ascending. So we're looking at the position column now and we're ordering our output data. So if we once again take a look at our database we have a position column, so as opposed to ordering by ID, we're now going to order by position. And that allows us to change positions of our pages. Isn't that super cool? And it's just that easy. So let's come along and just print this out and see what the result will be. And we're going to run the command. So once again, we're going to create this query. We're going to stick this into prepare statement with the connection. And once that's prepared, the rest of the code runs as we've discussed earlier. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. And so when you run it, you get basically just a printout of what's in the database and we can see that uh, ID 1 is garden and ID 2 is fall of man and ID 3 is flood so let's go to our database let's switch those position numbers and let's put flood first and garden in the third position so we're going to swap those two so we're in our sequences table and we've clicked on browse and we're going to change the garden numbers we hit the pencil just to change it and we'll change that to uh, 3 so the position will change to 3 go ahead and hit go and then we're going to change the uh, position number of the flood to 1. So let's click the pencil. And we'll change that position number to 1. So it should flip the first uh, with the third record. Hit OK. So you should notice that the uh, indices are still the same, 1, 2, and 3. But now the position number is 3 and the flood number is 1. So those two records should flip. Let's go ahead and run the program and see if that's what indeed occurs. So we're going to rerun the program. And when you do, you see suddenly you have flood at the top and you have garden in the third position. So indeed it worked very well. So that was very powerful and yet very simple because now that we've written this whole code in this framework, it's going to be very easy to actually have it do some very powerful things just with a few minor modifications. So make sure you download everything from the website and uh, get rolling. Let's review quickly what we did. It's just very simple. We went to our database and by clicking on structure we were able to go to and edit the actual uh, parameters in that database so we, we changed it parameter 1 to position, parameter 2 to visible, and parameter 3 to comments and after that we basically just went to Eclipse and we uh, changed our SQL uh, prepare statement to ordered by position ascending we just inserted that into the code and once we did it enabled us to order our pages by ascending not ordering on index anymore but 
ordering on any uh, column that we specify, and this particular instance we specified position. Hey, so things are starting to move along very nicely. Uh, in the next video, we're actually going to show you how to connect the pages to our sequences. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively. I'll see you next time.